Hello guys, you're welcome again to another After Effects tutorials and today I want to show you how I created this text to dust dissolve in Adobe After Effects without the use of any plugin. So support me on this one, like the video, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, then turn on the notification, come back and let's get started. Right inside Adobe After Effects, I'm beginning with a simple composition. Any setting will do and a text, the color does not really matter. So the duration is 10 seconds on the timeline. So let's begin. Select your text layer and pre-compose it. Name this text. Make sure you move all attributes to the new composition and then hit OK. Then duplicate this text layer and rename this particle. Add a CC particle system to. So let's expand all these options so that we can see everything and know where each of these parameters we want to adjust is. First, we're going to want to change the velocity and gravity to zero. This way we can see our producer very well. Position radius X to two and position radius Y to 14. Move your time indicator to zero and set a keyframe for the position and then select it and put it to the left of your screen. Then move to 10 seconds forward in time and then move the position to the right side of your screen. So now you have the producer moving from left to right. So let's make some changes to some of these parameters. Let's change the animation type to direction. And now let's change the velocity to 0 0.6. Let's change direction to 0 by 253. Let's change this extras to 0. Now we're going to move the gravity to negative 0 0.3. At this point, we want the particle to start emitting from the text. Instead of having it emit randomly like this, I want it to start emitting from the text. So we're going to go down right here and check this source alpha inheritance. That is not going to make in the entire thing start emitting from the text. Let me hide the bottom layer so that you can see exactly what is happening. So I've hidden the bottom layer. So if you uncheck this, you see that it's different. So, but if you check it now, it is now emitting directly from the text. You can see. Beautiful. So let's turn on back the bottom composition. So I'm going to select this bottom composition, then add a fill. Set your color, any color will do. So I'm going to go with somewhat blue. Then you hit OK, select the particle layer and then change the colors to your text color. Right click on your timeline, go to new and then create a new solid layer. Just make comp size and then hit OK. Add a linear wipe to this solid layer. Move your time indicator to zero and set a keyframe for the transition complete and make the transition complete value to 100. Then move your time indicator to 10 and then make the transition complete value to zero. Let's move to the middle of our timeline. So now let's set the wipe angle to negative 90. Set the feather to 100. Let's add a top lens displace. Let's go to the complexity, crank it up all the way up like this till you get something you really like. If you like, you can play around with other settings. Then alt click on the evolution. I enter this time expression time asterisk 100. Move the solid layer above your text composition. Then we're going to set the track map to Luma Alpha Inverted. So if you play now, this is what you're going to have. It 
if this is okay you can stop right here but i'm going to show you how to smoothen up this let's add a cc vector blur to this uh, particle layer let's crank out the amount to 120 the edge softness change it to 5 and we're going to go to the map softness and make it also 5 and you can play around with these settings to get a different result so if you play around now this is what you have you can increase the vector blow amount or to play around with the vector blow amount to see what the impact is if you reduce this to 50 it is going to give you a much softer version of this so let's preview and see and there you go feel free to play around with some of these settings to get a different result and this is how you can dissolve a text into a sand in adobe after effect without the use of any third party plugin if you learn something new on this video please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so with whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru for motion digit studios